Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi everyone, welcome to Houston Life on this Thursday, Friday Eve, March 10th. I'm Courtney Savala. Hi Courtney, hi everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today on Houston Life. Some breaking news about baseball. It is back. Finally, the MLB and Players Union have reached an agreement after more than three months at odds. Listen to this guys, opening day is set for April 7th, a full 162 game schedule. Spring training camp opens voluntarily tomorrow. Mandatory report day is March 13th. So a lot changing. Uh, the shift is gone. We go to regular rules for extra innings, all kinds of stuff. But check it out on click2houston.com. That's where all the info and, of course, all the latest and greatest coming up on the news at 4. And those free agents. But we're not going to talk about that right not now. Not yet, but I'm ready for some well, popcorn and peanuts and hot dogs and everything else. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Today on Houston Life, meet the local uh, meditation teacher who created a unique wellness community. She's showing us a pretty easy tool to fight off stress. She says even I can do it, Derek. All right. Look forward to that. Plus, the Alley Theater is transporting us back in time with their adaptation of Jane Austen's Sense and Sensibility. We're going to take you behind the scenes to learn how the costume department is bringing this classic to life. And then we're getting you Houston Rodeo ready with the perfect outfit and the perfect pair of boots. Lauren Kelly. Oh, yes, That's girl. A That's a great jacket. Love She's at Boot Barn today. And uh, Joe Sam is here with what he has coming up. Hey, Joe. Grab that jacket for Lauren Kelly. You know what, Joe? It sounds like your mic isn't on, but we're hearing all about CMOS. And, Joe, you're going to have more for us a little later on. But first, let's take a look at today's forecast. That's right. It's beautiful outside, but things are yep. changing, as you usually say, Frank. I tell you, when you think of gorgeous, do you think of that sky out there or me? Which is it, Courtney? It's, it's both. <laughs> it's you first and then the sky. I'm thinking Shake Shack at the baseball game. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I've got big changes. It is beautiful out there right now. Temperatures couldn't be better. If you're headed to the rodeo, 73, 74, 74 in Wharton, 64. Beautiful on the island right now. It's going to be a wonderful afternoon and evening. Journey is in the house, 72 to 68, 61 at 8 o'clock, 58 to 10. Couldn't ask for better. But look at this. It's 26 degrees in Amarillo and 45 in Lubbock, 40 in Oklahoma City. So I hate to burst your warm bubble there, but I tell you what, the cold Cold air is on the way. I'll time it out for you. What it means to Friday and your weekend straight ahead in 30 minutes. AJ's field day is tomorrow morning. That'll be an interesting day outside. And listen, if anyone has to burst our warm air bubble, Frank, we're glad it's you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you at four. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. Well, you know, a lot of people are talking about this, the climbing price of gas. We cannot escape it. In fact, gas is now more expensive than it has ever been, breaking a record high for from back in 2008. Here in Houston, back at that time, gas kind of hovered just below $4 a gallon. And right now in California, the highest gas prices in the country, with some stations charging more than $7 per gallon. Unbelievable. I remember when it reached $5 there. And here, Houstonians, we typically have the, the lowest gas prices in the nation, but they're climbing. They are climbing for sure. Listen, but there are some simple ways to increase your gas mileage and really stretch your dollar from checking the gas cap and tires, lightening the load in your trunk. You know, if you're like me and you're like, oh, I'm going to go to the UPS store here. If that takes you 15 days to get there. Or six take, months. Take all of that out. <laughs> remove those items you've stored there. And listen, Courtney, this one's for you, even driving slower. That helps you. You can find a complete list of 12 ideas online of clicktohouston.com. Sometimes I'm a little, you know, a little fast. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I like that we have filling up at grocery stores or wholesale clubs because obviously that's a great way to save money on gas at a warehouse store like Costco. However, bad news. Recently, the company's CFO hinted that a price hike in membership fees could be coming in the not-so-distant future. Oh. Typically, Costco increases their membership fees about every five years or so, and the last time was back in 2017 when they raised the basic Gold Star membership from 55 to 60 bucks. The executive membership is twice that amount, but you do get the money back. So, uh, And if you get gas, you can get money back on your gas there. So little ways to save, and they all add up. What's your go-to um, bulk item? At Costco. Oh, my collagen that I put in my coffee. 
Wow. Yes. Okay. That's my go-to. And eggs, because we go through a lot of eggs at the house. I wasn't expecting that. Listen, summer is right around the corner. I know we're dealing with some weather issues, as we heard Frank talking about. But if you're a planner and you're looking for a summer job or you know someone who is, the mayor's office is trying to make it a bit easier and enticing for our city's teens and young people to find a paid internship and or a summer job. The program is called Hire Houston Youth. It's geared towards 16 to 24 year olds to find a job within the city of Houston, public, private, and philanthropic sectors as well. Listen, the unemployment rate for 16 to 24 year olds in the U.S. ranks as the highest among all age groups. Oh, wow. And this application period has now been extended until April 8th to help kind of deal with spring break schedules. You can head over to clicktohouston.com for more information and a link to uh, see what jobs are available. I didn't realize unemployment was so high among teens, but it yeah. makes sense because typically during the summer months, a lot of employers might say, well, why would we hire you only for a short time? So right. this program is great. And there's some really great jobs out there as well. Yeah, there are. Very nice program. Well, former teen star Amanda Bynes is back in the news this week. She's had several Instagram accounts over the past few years. Yeah. You know, she'll have an account and then delete it. She just started a new Instagram account. Okay. I've been checking it today. 55,000 followers and counting. She had like 49 earlier today. So here's the thing. She's asking fans to help her follow in the footsteps of Britney Spears, finally to end her conservatorship of nine years. She also announced she's planning to remove that heart face tattoo under her eye. Can you see it? I it's gotten kind now. of faint. It almost looks like she started the process of having it removed. And uh, I think she's also had some others removed. Quite a dramatic um, appearance difference from when she was I did not realize that star. was her. I saw the video up upstairs in our office. I didn't realize that's who that was. Yeah, no Looks more tattoos totally for now. All right, let's bring in Joe Sam with our question of the day. What you got, Joe? Hey, guys, so this is what we have going on Facebook right now. We want to hear from you. What's something you wish you could undo? Those answers are already coming in. Let's take a look at the big board right now. Andrea writes in, I wouldn't undo anything since the actions have gotten me to where I am now, and I love my life. Aww. Good for you. Of course, coming up next, we have Susan. She writes, worshiping the sun without oh, sunscreen. Susan, amen, sister. <laughs> No more tan there. So, okay, Brian, he writes in, eating that leftover <laughs> shrimp last night. Uh -oh. Enough said. <laughs> this is the song that comes in my head on TikTok. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> we don't want that to happen, Brian. Ooh, bad for you. Hope you feel better. Of course, we want you guys to head over to the Houston Life Facebook page. Join that conversation, and we'll share more of your comments a little later on in the show. I think, Courtney, dear, you already know which I wish I could undo. My balding. Oh, so, but no. Yeah. I, I we, that's how we know you. Back. I know, right? That's been my brand ever since. But I do want the fade back. It feels good going to the barbershop and getting that luxury feel. Well, now you could just focus just on this. the beard. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> you do the fade down here, Joe. Absolutely. We're going to learn a little bit what you guys are looking to undo a little bit later on, though. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Thanks. All right. After the break, it is time for our H-Town sit-down. George from 100.3 The Bull is live in studio. There Yay. he is. It's so great to see you in person. We're going to chat about our buzzworthy topics today. Yeah, it's been a minute since we've seen George. Can't wait to chat right after this when Houston Life returns in just two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Life. Time now for our H-Town sit down where a special guest joins us here on the couch about interesting headlines and trending topics. We've already sort of said who it is, but in case you <laughs> missed it, let's find out. Houston's number one for country. He's one of the most familiar voices on Houston radio. 100.3 The Bulls, George on the morning bullpen with Mo and Eric. He's also a familiar face on Houston Life, appearing on the show since the very beginning nearly six years ago. A family man and overall nice guy, George Lindsay joins us today for our H-Town sit-down. All right, George, come on out to Studio B. Hello. Great to see you. So good Welcome to see back. You. We knew you'd wear a cool shirt, buddy. I know. Good, good to see, see you. you. And your wife good is to here, see too. Yeah, Deanna oh, came so with me. Great. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we saw you at a little event downtown, Courtney and I did, a few months ago. But right. what have you been up to? Because it's been a minute since we've had you, you on know, Houston Life. We were just talking about it backstage that it's it's been so weird to kind of get back up to speed. Right. We're in the middle of rodeo. We're halfway through, as I said, you know, hostage, held hostage day 15 in <laughs> rodeo. 
But we're just kind of getting back into that, and it really has been a challenge to kind of ramp back up to, hey, every night we're out there until closing, and then you get up and do the show the next morning, and it's 14 of the 20 nights are country shows, and we work every one of them. Oh, it so. is crazy. What is what is your wake-up call? What time do you 3 get up? 3.15. 3.15. 3.15. And how's the rest of the crew? You know what? They're good. Mo says hi. Tell her hello, best. too. And uh, Eric is new to the show right. since you guys have had us on, so uh, he wants to get by and get a chance to meet you all but yeah everybody is great the show's going well radio station and this is this is a wonderful time to be a country radio right. station in Houston Texas of so, course of yeah. course well you guys are the best we love having you well, back thanks I love being here with you guys good well it's about time it's been a minute okay very important question okay. Courtney and I have for you George okay mm -hmm. are there more wheels or doors in the world hmm. <laughs> wheels you think there's okay more no wheels? question well why do you say that no why do you think it's not are you Doris no, well well <laughs> <laughs> These doors, I, I had no idea. But think about the things that have wheels. Many of them also have doors. Um, they have doors, but that cancels out. But think about all the little toy wheels. Think about the number of Lego wheels in the world. Oh, my! just in my house alone. Uh, right? Exactly. <laughs> I have two boys, so we grew up with Legos. And the number of little toy car wheels that they produce every, every year. Plus, you have wheels on your refrigerator, wheels on the microwave, on the carts. It's true. Well, listen. In case you're a little bit lost why we're talking about this, so some regular guy, this guy Ryan Nixon, he posted on Twitter. He's not a celebrity. He has like 1,200 followers. He posed this question. We're having the stupidest debate. I'm here for it. Are there more doors or wheels in the world? Tens of, th well, look at that, 223,000 yeah. votes right now. So 53% 53, uh, 53 rather agree with you, George. So wheels. what about Courtney? She didn't. Where are you? I had no idea. This was a very lengthy conversation in our office today, <laughs> and I just kind of was thinking about in my the brain building. hurt it, it did. unfolds on all these levels yeah and I, I think I was with you too there's definitely more wheels I was just thinking in the building between our fleet and the car cars in the parking lot right, right I wasn't even thinking about the the wheels on the camera and all of these all other that things stuff. That I mean just on. here in the studio so yeah well so. you know that's about two minutes we're never gonna get back <laughs> it's also something I don't know if we'll ever be able to get the right answer to right, right okay. exactly it's like the remember the dress thing uh, yeah, the green or the ago. blue. Yeah, yes. right. yeah, yeah. Black and, and gold right. or white it's and... The same, yes. It's the same Black thing. Black and blue, it's white like, and gold. There is no real right answer that anybody knows, but it's fun to debate. So. It is. Have a conversation. Yes. Right. Well, how about this? We've all heard these stories about COVID relief fund scams. Oh, yeah. So the Small Business Administration, you could apply if you were a small business, you could apply for money to help your business stay afloat during COVID, right? Right, right. Well, how about this? So this guy in Georgia, he applied for $85,000. Okay. He got it. He lied on the application, but he got it. And right after that, he spent $60,000 on a Pokemon card. A single one? So, and Courtney, could you explain to us a little more about the Pokemon card, like what it is? It's a card with like... It's a card. It's a card. It's, it's a like card. a deck of cards with these characters from Pokemon. Listen, I could have given... I have shoeboxes full of these cards. <laughs> I will sell them for less than $60,000. Are they worth that much, though? I, I mean, George, I guess what do you make somebody of it? wants it. The first thing I thought of is I should have saved my boys' Pokemon cards, right? Because that was the huge thing. Big thing. And it's like, I guess this guy, first of all, he's scum for, uh, for taking doing the loans, that. right? We know that, but but I mean, this guy. I guess his motto was he wanted to catch them all. I mean, you know, I mean that's I, right. I, mean, I guess the Pokemon thing. You got to catch them all. Uh, but yeah, I I just think it's crazy. But is it as crazy as people spending a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars on NFTs? Mm. Uh, Pokemon mm. card you can hold in your hand. Yeah. You can, but NFT, also, eh. but if you if it's your money though, you should be able to buy whatever you want. This guy though, in yeah, his case, right, exactly. he was fined ten thousand dollars. Yeah, he had to pay the eighty five thousand dollars back, and he's going to jail for yeah. thirty six months. Good for that. Yeah. yeah. So he can't even see that Pokemon card. <laughs> he that can't he buy. <laughs> Maybe he could escape to an <laughs> island. How about that? So there's this small little island down off the coast of Belize. It's one point two acres. And back in 2018, this group of investors, you've heard of like crowdsourcing or sure. crowdfunding. So this guy was like, you know what, I'd really love to buy an island, but I need some help. So they raised $250,000. I can't believe it was, you know, for an island. That right. actually seems like a bargain, right? And they bought this island. Their plan is to start their own country. I believe they're going to call it the Principality of Islandia. Islandia. Mm. Sounds lovely. It sounds like a good escape. George, you and your wife, have you ever thought about uh, buying, buying an, an island? island? Yeah, we thought about buying an island, but not this one. I don't know if you looked into it, but it's tiny. 
I mean, it's like it's a mile long, but it's only like 10 feet wide. So you can see on, on TV that it's like you can't even really get a, a, a camping site in there. You know, if I was going to do that, if I was going to buy an island, it would be a little bit better. You know, I mean, you would go for something a little bit better. But I like the idea of doing your own nation, right? Somebody, maybe we should do that with Texas. Oh, wait, oh. we oh. did it already. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Wait, did I hear you say you and your wife had considered buying... No, I said if we consider. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, okay. I was gonna say, radio pays me. really, really well. <laughs> <laughs> Not that well. Not that well. It, it would be a smaller island than that one. So yeah, but yeah, what a fun thing! I, I do like that idea of them getting together and they have their own island because they can hand out titles. Then you can be the prince of Islandia or oh, whatever. So wow. yeah, you could have all these royal. Would they have titles. an Olympic team. I, <laughs> I know, right? We could have our own Maybe. Olympic team. <laughs> the benefits of owning an island, George. Thank you for enlightening us. Oh, it's always you great to see you. you back. It's Lovely so good to, to see you, you all. So. And we'll see you out at Rodeo this yep. week. We'll be there. As a matter of fact, tonight, Journey, wheels in the sky keep on turning. Yes. See, Don't another wheels reference. Don't stop believing, George. Don't stop Don't believing. Stop believing. believing. <laughs> yeah, so. okay, Tell the rest buddy. of the gang hello, too. We will. Yeah. Thank great you. To great see you. to see you. As always, a reminder, you can catch George along with Mo and Eric weekday mornings on 100.3 The Bull. All right. When we come back, a look at the Alley Theater's adaptation of Jane Austen's Sense and Sensibility. From the wigs to the makeup, learn how they're bringing 18th century looks to the stage. That looks lovely. And from 18th century style to rodeo style. Lauren Kelly is helping us step out at the rodeo with the perfect pair of boots. Oh yes, I like those. Are those pink? I'll take both. Take all of them, Lauren. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. I want that jacket she has on too. Sensible Eleanor and hypersensitive Marianne find themselves financially destitute and socially vulnerable after their father's sudden death in Jane Austen's Sense and Sensibility. The Alley Theater is bringing this late 18th century classic to the stage and joining us is the wig, hair and makeup supervisor, Amy Solomon, to discuss how she helped create the looks for this historic classic. Amy, it's so great to see you. Hi, it's good to see you. Well, listen, this is perfect timing. Coincidence that today is International Wig Day. And we were just <laughs> chatting during the break. A show like this much, must be so much fun for you to sink your, your creativity into. Talk about this process of bringing it to life on stage. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge process. It takes a lot of people. We get our designs um, from our designer who works with our director. We find out what the time period is. And then I custom build the wigs per actor uh, based on each of the different characters. And a lot of the actors in this show get to play multiple characters, including some guys who play both guys and girls. And there's some girls who play both genders as well. So um, this show has been a lot of fun stretching our muscles and uh, getting to really try new things. Well, and I love hearing you say that because if there's one thing we know about the Alley Theater, y'all do such a good job of taking these classic plays and really pushing the envelope, adding a modern twist to them, making people laugh. This show is so funny. It's It has emotional depth. It's very bold. I mean, there, there are so many visuals. Talk about the process of creating these wigs because I know you mentioned that you were the one back there handcrafting these wigs wigs there are 37 of them that yes, sounds like it takes a lot of time it does take a lot of time i mean from the very first fitting until it gets on stage is probably about 40 hours per wig to create them by hand and they are each hand ventilated they're all human hair and uh it takes a lot of us there i had six wig builders actually ventilating wigs for this show with me so um there's been a lot of people with a lot of hands in the work and uh and we just love it. And as you can see, we have to reset and restyle the wigs um, for every show because they are human hair and they fall out of their hairstyles just like our hair does. So we have a great team who also works backstage who makes sure the styles are correct for every show's performance. So the first person who sees the show will see the same show as the last person who sees our show. Okay, that is so incredible. Did you say 40 hours per wig? Per mm -hmm. That's yeah. a 40 it, hours is a, a full work week, Amy. 
Hmm? Yeah, it's a lot of little hairs in those wigs. <laughs> 37 wigs. Well, they look beautiful. So much fun. Let's talk a little bit more about the show. How do you describe this show uh, to your friends and neighbors? Oh, this show is so great. It's such a unique take on the show. And um, there's lots of quirkiness to it and a lot of humor. So it doesn't feel like a stuffy old thing that's a period show and it's all buttoned up. It's really funny and accessible and and easy for the audience to be accessible to it. It's really, it's really enjoyful to watch and uh, it's nice to hear all that laughter, even though we're putting on something that some people might think is, you know, more uptight or older period. It's, it's so much fun. Well, Sense and Sensibility is such a great story. And Amy Solomon, thank you so much for giving us a look behind the scenes. Thanks for your hard work. And something tells me uh, you've got a comb in both hands right now, right? I, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. To do. I knew it. I can tell you're a multitasker. Thanks so much. And we'll see you, uh, we'll see you at the theater. Thank you. Come on down. Okay, we'll be there. Alley Theater's production of Sense and Sensibility is playing now through March 27th. For showtimes and ticket information, visit alleytheater.org. Turning now to another event happening in town, the rodeo. It's not our first rodeo, but we can always use some new boots, right, Courtney? Uh, yes, yeah, sign me up. Shopping's always a good idea, right? How about a sensible, fun look for the rodeo? We all know if you're heading out, you need the perfect boot to step out in style. And Lauren Kelly is live at Boot Barn with more getting decked out. That jacket, you've already got the boots. Okay, Lauren, oh. just send it all to me. What do I need? You, you guys know this is Texas. You can wear boots any time of the year, but especially for rodeo. Before you head on out, you got to stop by Boot Barn. We're out in Cyprus this afternoon. I'm here with the store manager, Angel Ruiz. We've been chatting about literally everything that you guys have in the store to get y'all covered for the rodeo. And we want to talk about the boots. But first of all, there's a lot of locations that people can go to, right? There's at least 19 locations here in the Houston metro. We have locations not only in Cyprus, Tomball, Spring, Con. Row, Humble, Katy, uh, Pearland, uh, and, and so on and so on. And then we go out to outside of the city that's part of our region. And we're all here to serve you. We're all here to serve the entire family. Now, clothes, accessories, boots. That's what we're here to talk about right now. The perfect fit. So you guys saw the ones I have on right now. These are beautiful star. What brand is this, uh, Angel? Those uh, are actually the uh, a new brand that we just got in. Um, and it, the name escapes me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> well, I just want to show you. They have such a, a wide variety. Not only these stars. I know, Courtney, that you love these. See, there's a leopard printed that. This is just about half the size of the booty. I've got these pink suede ones that I absolutely love. Of course, I got engaged, so I needed to pick out something white and sparkly and bridal. OMG about this one. And then maybe you're looking for something a little bit higher. Look at this. Look at what is this called? What style is this? This is the, uh, we call it the knee high or knee -high. the tall, the yeah. tall boot. Uh, it goes very well with short dresses. Uh, it, it really sets off that night when you want to go out and have a dancing and have great dinner. Absolutely. And the perfect fit comes when that boot just pops right on. Right, Angel? Absolutely. That's <laughs> one of the things that comes down to when we fit boots. We actually use a branded device and we will fit you if you like. A lot of people know their size. Yeah. But when they actually sit down and put the boot on, you can hear that heel pop into place. Yeah. That's when you know you're really on the right track to Makes a great, all great sense. The difference. That's right. Well, don't go anywhere, you guys. We got the fashion from Boot Barn coming up a little bit later on in the show. And there's so much more than just this amazing jacket, Courtney and Derek. I will show you guys a little bit later on. You had Back me you at the boots, studio. Lauren. I want one of everything, size seven, please. And okay. I vote for the Cinderella okay. boot gotcha. with the sparkles. <laughs> Perfect for a wedding. Got you. <laughs> okay, Lauren, thanks for that. All right, now let's send things over to Mr. Joe Sam. Hi, Joe. Hey, you guys. Coming up, we're learning more about sea moss. Find out why one local business is saying it helped the community during the pandemic and how it's still helping with benefits now. Plus, we'll get a check of what's coming up for the news at 4. Houston Life is back in just two minutes.
Welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you on this Friday Eve at 3.30. I'm chuckling because I looked at some of the viewer comments. <laughs> They're good. Okay, let's get to them now. The first one, a reminder, by the way, we asked, what is something you wish you could undo? The first response comes from Frank. He wishes he could undo the lid on the pickle jar. Amen, Frank. We've all been there. Brandon always gives it to me. <laughs> Why do you put them on so tight? Oh, Faye writes in, cut my, sh my hair short. I let it grow out and chopped it off. It would be really long now, but Faye, I like both. And I the pixie cut's adorable. I do too. You look beautiful either way. I bet that pixie is lower maintenance too, right? Oh, Jim. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what? It was the nasty email I just <laughs> sent reply all. Yeah, the yeah. reply all feature. I can't believe it's 2022. And people, and people still, still reply all. Why do you reply all? Why? To keep us entertained. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> No, there are very few times when reply all is actually necessary. And it's about once in your lifetime. <laughs> now let's check in with Keith, Lauren, and Frank for a look at what they have coming up at the top of the hour. Guys, baseball's back too. Excited. Yes, yeah. Okay, you know, it's a little late, but we'll take it better late than ever, right? Yes, well, I, yes. What should it have been? I'm just wondering. Like a week ago. It was supposed to be March 31st. Spring yeah, spring yeah, spring training. Spring training was supposed to start several weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah opening yeah. weekend. So opening we're a week late on, on the opening? Yes. Yeah. Well, a little more than a week. Yeah. yeah. The billionaires and millionaires came to an agreement. Finally. <laughs> Thank goodness. Finally. Where will I park my well yacht? Said. I tell you. It's a very tough question, oh. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, but I do love it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I think it'll be a great season for the Astros. All right, how's the weather looking, Frank? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I tell Not you, that good? We're going to be having a very different talk tomorrow. I'll tell you that today's gorgeous out there. The skies are blue everywhere. Not a cloud in the sky. Temperatures in the 70s. 64 in Galveston. Perfect rodeo weather journey is in the house tonight. 68 at 6, 61 at 8, 58 at 10. You'll notice up around the panhandle, there's a little bit of snow in Oklahoma. That's an indication of the cold air that's coming in. It's not a big snowmaker or even rainmaker. It's a big wind maker and a big chill maker. So keep that in mind. It's 26 in Amarillo right now, 40 in Oklahoma City, and it feels like 14 and 29. The winds out of the north at 26 miles an hour, 16 in Amarillo. So that's the shakeup that is on the way for us. I want to show you the uh, future cast numbers. Six o'clock tomorrow morning, I have 56 degrees, 58 degrees. Not bad. As we go to noon tomorrow before the front gets here, 68, but look back out here to the west in the 40s is 20 degree difference. And then as this front comes through, we're going to all be dropping into the 40s by 6 p.m. So we have a big 20 degree, 25 degree drop coming as this front moves through and the wind is what's pushing it. So the winds are easily going to be up there in the 20 to 30 mile an hour range by midnight uh, tomorrow night into Saturday morning in the 30s. And by the time we get to Saturday freezing numbers, 6 a.m., 30, 31, 32, 29 in Columbus, 30 for downtown, even 39 on the island, if not colder. So I've changed one of the P's here. People and pets, obviously. Plants, sensitive plants, and I've probably done some planting. Take care of those, but prepare for those winds. Pool umbrellas, things around the house, garbage cans that are out there, whatever can be blown around, uh, and it's going to be blown around. So take care now. Now's a great day to take care of those things because tomorrow is the big change day. Saturday, there's the freezing morning. We get to about 58, and still chilly on Sunday. I'll take you through the whole weekend and spring break coming up at 4. Okay, we'll be ready for that, Frank. Thank you, sir. A look now, what we've got coming up at 4 o'clock in the news department is a beautiful day for baseball, right? Yes, players voted to accept the Major League Baseball's latest offer on a new labor deal to end the lockout. We'll have the very latest coming up. Plus, part of Southwest Houston is implementing new safety features to help reduce crime. Houston's District J announced new cameras will be installed, but these are not just normal cameras. We'll explain how these licensed reader cameras could help prevent crime in the area. We're also tracking the growing refugee crisis worldwide. More than 2 million people have fled Ukraine due to the war being raged in their country. Just ahead, a look at some of the latest overseas and how Houstonians are showing solidarity with Ukraine. Gosh, those wow. images are so heart-wrenching. So They're mm -hmm. haunting, aren't they? They yeah. really are. Guys, thanks so much. We'll see you at the top of the hour.
Well, you might have seen sea moss, also known as red algae or Irish moss, popping up on social media and promising some health benefits. Yeah, one local business that sells sea moss has seen an increase in popularity during the pandemic. Joe Sam is here with more on their story. Hi, Joe. How are you guys doing? Okay, so after a local couple, this couple here, they use sea moss as a holistic way to help them with some of their medical issues. You know, they decided to share its power with the rest of the community, and according to them, people just can't get enough. Hi, I'm Lily Ewa. I'm Esco Ewa. And, and together, together we, we are Power Sea Moss. So sea moss is a form of red algae, and it started trending heavily because of COVID. So we had already been on it for a couple of years, but when COVID happened, we knew about all of the healing properties, how it helped reduce inflammation, and most importantly, boost your immune system. So it was very key and essential during the pandemic. For me, I'm a, as an ex-rugby player, it really, really helped me with my arthritis and stuff, bones and stuff. It helped me, uh, I lost a few pounds. I lost, actually I lost 25 pounds, you know, just from taking CMOS, I feel better. It's about how you feel internally. That's the main thing, you know. CMOS is about how you feel inside. Especially as you get older, you notice the differences and stuff. So CMOS has really helped us. I had three major surgeries right before the pandemic and I was just kind of living in my body. And I started taking CMOS because of the immune system support that I knew that it, it offered. So not only did it help me with, you know, the immunity, I lost a ton of weight, my energy levels spiked, I'm very rarely ever fatigued, so it was a game changer. Most of the time we see people coming in, we can see the struggle, the pain in their eyes. You know, we're having fun doing what we're where we like, you know, we really love to do, yeah, helping people. They're coming back smiling and stuff. So that's what's important to us. When they come in, we want them to feel better leaving than when they came in. We want people to, you know, know that, yes, there's doctors and yes, there's medicine and all those things are, are great. However, like, you can do certain things for your health naturally. I'm actually the one that makes it. Yes. <laughs> I do the admin work. He's, a, he's the curator. So this is our gold CMOS from St. Lucia. This has 92 minerals out of 102 that the body needs to function properly. And the purple sea moss, also known as full spectrum, has all the minerals that the body needs to function properly. So we wash it, soak it, very, soak it for a long time, and then pretty much blend it and infuse the fruits in it. You gotta be, be happy and live your best life with sea moss. And you are what you put in your body, so put the right minerals in your body and you see the difference. Now, the power of sea moss will have its grand opening this Sunday, where you'll be able to see if sea moss can actually work for you. Just head over to our HoustonLife.tv website for more information about that to get the information on that grand opening. So I have some in here for you guys. This is one of their most popular ones right here. So it's called the Lover's Rock. It's triple berry. I have the tablespoons for you guys right here to try out. Now, according to the company, it says it's supposed to boost your immune system. It's also supposed to boost testosterone natural detox and green energy. It also is supposed to help with reducing of inflammation. Mm -hmm. inflammation. So all of those different qualities, according to this company, it has. So how does it taste? It's, it's very question. subtle, but it's like a jelly. Yeah, it tastes like the fruit that it's mixed with. But yeah. our producer, Eddie, was telling us that mm. she's had it and it tastes kind of salty on its own. So, yeah. interesting. Yeah. I actually like it. It's not too bad like I thought it would be. But you're right. It does taste good. Yeah, it's very mild. All okay, right, Joe. All right. Enjoy. Thanks Ooh. for that. <laughs> Let's check back in with Lauren Kelly, who's in the search for the perfect rodeo fit. Hi, Lauren. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, it's not only about the boots. It's also about the hats and accessories. Look at this. When we come back, I am trying on and showing y'all all things fashion, especially for the rodeo while we're here at Blue Barn. Oh, thank you so much. How does this one look, you guys? Oh, maybe maybe a little too big. Use the line to be right back. Hey, you guys, we are out here in Cyprus today at Boot Barn getting everybody rodeo ready. Look at this jacket. This is a cobalt blue with fringe, Idle Wind by Miranda Lambert. And this is the place to come for all things rodeo fashion. And Angel Ruiz, you're the store manager here. Yes, ma'am. You've been hooking it up all afternoon. We've pulled a few pieces that we think definitely along the women's fashion line we need to tell our viewers about today. So describe this look. What do we have here? Certainly. This is a very casual look. Okay. This is a crop top tee. Okay. Uh, it's made by Rock and Roll. And on 
on the back, we have the matching jean that goes with it. It's okay. a stretch jean. It's okay. got the flare legs. And this uh, is what makes it rock. Look at that choker. And then that we have bandana the Cheyenne choker. little bit choker right, right. there. I, I do want to get to this because as bridal wear, normally white's very see-through, but this jumper, this romper is not. It's heavy cotton. It's a beautiful piece. It's uh, got the flare legs. When and you then turn look it around the back, the back guys, it's got the, the back. open back. Oh, I it love really it. looks good. All right. It's, Go to this one right Let's here. Let's go so to this, miss one. One. Okay. this is all Cheyenne. It's got the Cheyenne duster jacket with the fringe. Uh, there is. It's almost iridescent. It is. It's got color. a mini crop top uh, knitted um, jersey underneath okay. it, and also the the faux um, turquoise necklace. I and love that's that. All Cheyenne. It's all exclusive brand. It's only at. Food barn. What we were talking about, Angel, is that the fringe is so in right now. Fringe is in, lace is in. This is one of those things that's that's just part of the, all of the what people are looking for right now. There's fringe at the bottom. Um, these are all again Idlewind by Miranda Lambert. Again, another exclusive brand for Boot Barn. What I really love about all these pieces you showed us is no matter what the weather, because the Houston Rodeo always falls and the weather is back and forth, hit or miss, you can wear these outfits at any kind of temperature outside. And then guess what? Put a Fringe jacket over it. It's cobalt you blue. You're going to love it. Bootbarn.com for more info. Angel, thank you so much. I'm going to stay and I'm going to spend my entire paycheck here and get ready for the rodeo. You guys, back to Studio B. Courtney, I know for sure you want something that I have pulled up. Yes, right? I'm drooling over here. I definitely want that necklace. And just bonus, Lauren, that jacket will take you through Astros and Texan seasons. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. You're getting a Perfect. big bang for your buck just there. Just saying. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Thanks, girlfriend. Great job. I'm texting her in between too. What's the price? What's the price? What's the price? <laughs> and she was really <laughs> drooling too. I had to clean it up. It was not pretty. Uh, I'm just kidding, Courtney. All right, so we're about to take a quick break. But speaking of breaks, do you need one? We're going to sit down with a local meditation expert who has an easy tool to help us fight off stress. I can't wait. Are you ready? It's all zen. There she is, Jasmine, Miss B. We're going to get stretched because Houston life is returning. In just under two years, Jasmine Miss B. Lynch has been able to create a unique safe space for self-care while debunking myths related to mental health. All while helping others on healing path through the power of meditation. What is meditation? It is actually an opportunity to just focus and focus on awareness. Take a moment to reconnect our bodies to ourselves and become aware of each of our body parts. Awareness of yourself inside, maybe awareness of sensations that are going on in your body or around you, sounds. In through your nose, and I'm gonna count that breath out. Might even be focused on specific thoughts like affirmations. Some of you might have thoughts that start to enter your mind. Actually, that's human and it's okay. I started meditating in 2013. I was able to create a practice for myself that changed everything else around me. So for instance, my body. Um, I was able to lose a lot of weight because I strengthened my mind. And so foods that I ate before that I thought I could never get away from, that meditation made my mind so strong that I could actually have the discipline to not have those foods or have the discipline to go and work out over and over. I created Come Be because I wanted people to have a space to come and work on their mental health. And I wanted them to see someone who looked like them doing that so that they understood that it was possible. Give some gratitude to your thighs. They keep you standing. It is super important because in the past, we don't get images of African-American women, African-American men in the wellness space, not to this extent. Everyone should really take care of their mental health. Without mental health, you really have nothing to give. You can't pour from an empty cup. There's a lot of post-traumatic stress in my community just based off of the things that have historically happened and are still happening right now. So the reason why this is so important is because everything starts with the mind. Once you can strengthen the mind, the body will follow. The things in your life will follow. And so I'm walking to, away today thinking that like this is foundational to work that all of us should be doing regardless of our background. Taking a moment to just be. 
And practicing self-care can be easy, quick, and done right in the comfort of your home. And Miss B, Jasmine, founder and operator of Come Be, is here with an easy technique to fight off stress. I feel like that we're on the ground. It's great to see you, by the way. Yes. I enjoyed the piece. Um, you say it is easy to calm down. We chatted when you first got to the studio, yes. and I said it's the hardest thing for me to do. Yes. I can't turn off my brain to have a moment to meditate, to relax. I, I just, I can't do it. Awesome. So one of the first steps to doing that is breathing, and that's what we're going to practice today is some intentional breathing because our lungs are always breathing for us, but this time we're going to give our lungs a break and do it. Intentional Alrighty. breathing. And, intentional. and what are we holding in our hands? This is an Ibby known as an intentional breather, and if you want to find it, you can find it on my website at cumbi.co, and we're going to use this for our exercise today. And it's basically it's like a straw, but it's what? It's, yeah, it's like a straw, but it's bamboo. This one is antibacterial, so you you know we need that these days. Sure do. Um, <laughs> and if you can can't find this, you can use a straw from home. From okay. The fast food place, wherever. Just grab you a straw and we can go at it. Okay. Intentional breathing. Walk us through it. All right. So let's do it. So we're just going to start off by taking some moments to just breathe normally. So just look at your breathing. Don't judge it. Just breathe in through your nose, filling up your lungs. Exhale, allowing all that air out of your lungs. And do that again. You're breathing perfectly. And then we're just going to take a moment and breathe in through our nose for four counts. One, two, three, four. Hold that breath for four, three, two, one. Bring your ibby to your lips and just allow the air to escape. Don't press it, just allow. And take that breath in through your nose again. One, two, three, four. Hold it, relax your shoulders. Two. Three, four, bring your ibby back and allow it to just do the work for you. And one more time for good measure, breathing in through your nose for one, two, three, four. Hold that breath, four, three, two, one. Release through your ibby, relax your jaw and your shoulders and just start to notice what you feel. in your body. It's funny mind. that you said about the shoulders. I could feel my entire body was tensed up, even my thighs, and I had to remind myself to let go. Yes. And it's part of just the breathing, right? Just yes. let go. And Courtney thought that she wouldn't be able to do this, and I watched you just immediately relax down, so I'm happy that you got that moment. Me too. Derek, what'd what you about think? you, Derek? Well, the, the shoulders, I would agree. I mean, and it's, first of all, it's strange to do this on live television, <laughs> uh, but I can imagine that being more intentional and just aware of your breath. I mean, relaxing the shoulders. I think I have a tendency, Miss B, to hold my breath when I'm stressed out. Uh -huh. We all do, nearly 99.9% .9 of us. If something shocking happens to you, something stressful, your first gut instinct is fight, flight, or freeze, so you stop breathing. And you don't know that you stop breathing until you do this, and somebody goes, what's wrong? And you go, nothing. Wow. And it's because you've stopped. So this intentional breathing can be done anywhere. It gives you a chance, whether you're at work, in the car, stressful situation, nervous because mm -hmm. you're about to be on TV every day. <laughs> um, it gives you a chance to just center in with yourself and allow your lungs to have a break and feel your body just calm and then you're just ready to go. How much time do we need to do this for? You can do it, those three counts, it's fine. You That's can do it, it one time, wow. twice, three times, it works every time. And this is not only calming for the body, but we're talking about the benefits of this breath work, but it's really sort of head to toe. Yes, it's, for, it's head to toe and especially for your mind because the breathing helps to connect your body and your mind both together. It helps with blood circulation. It helps with um, just de-stressing on the way over here. I call a flat tire the first thing I did oh, no. instead of stressing out as I just it's a moment to breathe and everything worked out and yeah. I'm sitting here with y'all today so it works out well I have to say just seeing your smiling beautiful smiling face Thanks. really puts a lot of us all of us at ease a former sixth grade math teacher so <laughs> yes. we understand what stress level that was for you yes <laughs> it, it, it you know it was and I, I would use those breathing techniques with our students yeah especially before a test for anyone who has kids doing that breathing truly helps well it's so. a great tool Jasmine Miss B it's great to see Thank you y'all for being you. here thanks for having me and Thank good you. luck with
with that flat tire. All righty. All right. If <laughs> it's would, all good. If you'd like to book an appointment in person or virtually, Come Be Event is the name of it. You can visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. We should take this show to the floor more often. This yeah. is lovely. <laughs> My blood pressure is completely down. Thanks so much. And after the break, a look at what's coming up tomorrow when we'll have ways for your kids to enjoy the rodeo. And as we head to break, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight, including some of your favorite shows getting the axe. Hey, Kevin. Derek and Courtney, tonight on ET, Black Panther director Ryan Coogler falsely accused of robbing a bank. What the body cam footage reveals then talk shows getting canceled, the TV favorites who just got axed, you don't want to miss it. That's tonight at 6.30 right here on KPRC2. Now sit tight because Houston Life, it'll be right back. All right, tomorrow on Houston Live, heading to Rodeo Houston during spring break, we've got you covered with the best ways to have a child-friendly rodeo experience, including tips to save you some money. All right. Also, she's a force on the track and in the kitchen. Former Olympian and Top Chef finalist Don Burrell will join us to weigh in on what's trending. Of course, if you watched the season premiere of Top Chef Houston, you saw Don Burrell make a little cameo on that. Episode two tonight. Oh, yeah, it's that's Thursday. right. Yeah. It is Thursday. Tonight. Can't wait. I Can't know. Wait. Well, thanks so much for joining us today on Houston Life. Uh, hope you can get the pickle jar open. If you and if don't not, get just that. breathe. You you breathe in for four and exhale, and it's great, and you won't remember. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Flute. A, little, a little slower. <laughs> a little slower. <laughs> Said in the commercial break, it's not a paper bag, Derek. <laughs> He's I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna he, get this. He may need more practice. It looks like. I know. Good. Practice makes perfect, guys. We'll hand it over to you. You'll get the hang of it. All right. Sounds good.